Raj Gatech for youtube.com forward slash media tech social. I'm here with Laurent from Neodemia. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. This is a particular, your startup is something which I'm really interested in, which is all about sharing knowledge and sharing it meaningfully. Um, tell us about what your startup does. Tell us about MOOC and tell us about uh, the solution for enterprise. Sure. Well, basically what happened is three years ago, I fell in love with an open online course by Stanford, and I thought I could bring that to corporate. So instead of helping universities share the knowledge, which I already do, I thought I'd help co corporations share the knowledge online. So Neodymia is a MOOC platform, so it's a massive open online course platform. Anybody can follow our courses. And we we work with our clients to actually create those courses and share them with the world. So is this something that, is this an idea that came from you or is this a pain point that you noticed with corporates at first? But both actually, I first uh, fell in love with that type of course. I knew th those courses would work pedagogically to share the knowledge. And then uh, as, a, as a manager and a consultant can firm, I knew both two things. First, as a great expertise within companies and two, like sharing knowledge is a pain point. So we solve both. So is this primarily being used to, I mean, you've already got quite a few clients under your belt, so let us know who they are, but is this being primarily used for internal training or recruitment? I mean, my pain point, I, I hire people all the time, and I find it very frustrating when I've said to people, look, you know, make sure you check out the work of Seth Godin and Gary Vaynerchuk and go over their philosophies before I hire you. They get to the interview and they're kind of blank, right? Yeah. So where does this fit in terms of recruitment and internal training with the clients you've got at the moment, and who are they? It's actually both. So if you take the example of BNP Paribas, which is a major French bank, they use our, our platform to both train the sales staff internally on a, on a major change of banking regulation. And at the same time, they invited clients into the same training on our platform. So it, both, it, sell, it solves both needs. We also do um, uh, recruitment. And as an example, we work with a French publishing house. And with them, we created a course that helped them recruit uh, promising authors. And tell me about when we were looking at the app on your iPad, there was an element of like a, a wiki element where as you're doing the course, you can feed back on the course to make the course better, almost like a self-improving engine. Yeah. Basically, we, we hacked the idea of Wikipedia to do a collaborative note-taking tool. So we, we allow our participants to rewrite the course in their own words. And that, that, that collaborative work was actually crowd-funded as well as crowd-sourced uh, on, on, on our app. So. To keep it super simple, tell me about an enterprise and what kind of problem they'd be having and then what they would do from start to finish to implement your solution to solve that problem for them. Okay, well, it really depends on what they want to do. If they come to us for uh, knowledge sharing or for, for shining a light on their expertise because maybe they're not well known enough, then we work with them to identify this expertise, know if they have recruited needs, for example, or training needs, and we'll create the course for them. So what our expertise is really to create a course um, uh, actually film the course and host the course on our platform. So the, f the first step is to know why they're doing the course, then find the course objective, so why as a participant you will want to go to the end, and then we actually do the scenario of the course, we film the course, and then we, uh, we do the community management on the platform. And then obviously as you do the course, the person who's doing the course is filling in questions, answers, qualitative, quantitative, and being marked? Yes, there's a, there's a certification aspect uh, of it, of course, yeah. So tell me, how old is the company? How many folks you got working? Uh, are you funded and how, or how are you making money? Yeah, all right. right now we're funded by our clients. So I'm very proud of that. <laughs> we haven't uh, raised cash, uh, although we might do in the future. Um, we, uh, we are 13 months old, basically, and, uh, and there's five of us at the moment. Brilliant. And uh, what are the plans for the future? I mean, how, how, how wide and how dense is the roadmap moving forward? Right. We're working uh, very uh, intensively on the tech side to improve the platform. So we want to work on more, uh, more social engagement, basically. Uh, we also want to work more on uh, certification and gamification of the, uh, of the badges, for instance, Mozilla badges. And uh, we are actually bringing in a web marketer as well. So we want to do more and more communication on the inside to have our clients shine through the courses. And as, a, as, a, as an app for non-corporates, like for example, if, uh, if someone like you know, Tim Ferriss was to do a, a course on the four-hour body, could you do timed questions and then have people answer them? I mean, there are brands that are not corporate, but there are brands, individual people, that are known for having an area of expertise. So I think about something like a, uh, a Peter Thiel course on zero to, the Zero to One book or a, a, course, on, a course by Gary Vaynerchuk on uh, the Thank You Economy. How can non-corporates get involved? Where does that fit in your roadmap? Right, if you get me, can get me in touch with Tim Ferriss or Peter Thiel, I'd love to. <laughs> That's the first thing. Peter Thiel's here on uh, Thursday at Web Summit. I know, I know. Uh, the end. Um, so yeah, co completely. We, we are actually, our main focus commercially uh, is, to, um, is to try to have a good answer for people who don't really have enough cash to create a course. So we want to, sh to find a way of creating value through the course and share that value. And we realized that through our first course, the creative writing course, our client is now making quite a bit of cash by selling the offline version of the course and also his books. So we want to share in on that. 
that's, that's, a view for, that, that's a vision forward. Cool. Well, Laurent, thank you so much for checking this out. All of the links that you need to find out more about this company are in the show notes uh, on YouTube and on MediatechSocial.com. I appreciate your time. Uh, in wrapping up, as whilst, whilst we're here at, Media, uh, at Web Summit, you know, this year, they're in their fourth year. They've gone from 300 people to 10,000 to 20,000. You know, it's, it's huge. What do you think about Web Summit and exhibiting here this year? How's it been for you? It's our first year, our first day, and we're very happy so far. So um, I'm hoping we can do more tomorrow. A lot of interest? Yes, yes. We have a lot of traffic on the, on, the, on the stand. The three of us were always very busy, so that's a very good sign. Yeah. All right, glad to hear it. Well, stay tuned on here, youtube.com forward slash media tech social. Check out all of the interviews from Web Summit and make sure you subscribe. I'm Raj Kitecha. Thanks so much for checking it out. Thank <laughs> you.